Okay, so what we've got in here is a bit of artificial seawater. Now, seawater has about 35 grams per litre of salt in it, more or less. So it's 500 millilitres and 17 and a half grams of salt. Now, I've got it on the hot plate, and the hot plate's actually at 50 degrees. Connected up the vacuum pump to it, and this tube here then just goes down into a bucket of cold water. And that bucket of cold water is 11 degrees. So what we're going to do is apply a vacuum to it. happily bubbling away at 50 degrees centigrade because we pulled a vacuum. Now, we don't have to maintain that vacuum. Once that vapour goes off and condenses in the coil, it will continue to bubble, and that will just carry on. Now, vacuum distillation is a standard technique in chemistry. It's used whenever you have a um, solvent that's volatile and will break down at temperatures uh, that are too high. You put a vacuum on it, you can distill it at a much lower temperature and maintain the integrity of whatever it is that you're reacting. So it's a fairly standard thing. So reducing the pressure to get the thing to boil at 50 degrees actually is no great challenge. But the immediate thing you want to think about, or at least the immediate thing I think about, is how could we do that but not use a vacuum pump? That is, how could we create a vacuum if we didn't use a vacuum pump? Now, thankfully, nature has supplied the answer. There is, in fact, a way to do that. There's something called um, the barometric head. Now, one atmosphere of pressure will hold a water column up around about 34 feet or so. So if I get a tube bigger than 34 feet, stick it in a bucket of water like that, so we've got water there and water there, the atmosphere acts on this uh, exposed part of water and will hold up a column of 34 feet of water. If I make that bigger than 34 feet, fill it, and then release it all, it will drop back down so that that is 34 feet. What's in there is a vacuum. And that's a vacuum that's actually much better than I could have pulled with a vacuum pump and actually takes no energy at all. So if we can do that and create a vacuum in here, then we can heat that water by applying something like, say, 40 to 50 degrees centigrade. If we can apply that to that head, then this salt water in here will boil and that vapour will then be pure water. So we can collect that vapour, then we've got a um, solar way of producing desalinated water. Now, this will maintain itself at 34 feet. So if I have a drip feed of salt water going in there, and I can collect that off, I'm going to have a permanent way of desalinating water that is basically a big pipe in a bucket, and the sun. Now, I thought that was kind of cool, so I hope you thought it was interesting too, and we will move forward with this one, so keep on watching, and thank you very much for watching.